My uh, national security staff and defense staff has been in constant contact with their counterparts in the Middle East, uh, not just with the Israelis, but also with uh, everyone from the Egyptians to the Saudis to the Emiratis, etc. And uh, I had a conversation with Bibi Netanyahu uh, not too long ago. I'll be putting out a statement very shortly on that. Um, my expectation and hope is that uh, uh, this will be uh, closing down sooner than later. But uh, Israel has a right to defend itself when you have thousands of rockets flying into your territory. But uh, I had a, a conversation for a while with, with the uh, Prime Minister of Israel, and uh, I think that uh, my hope is that we'll see uh, this coming to conclusion sooner than later. Thank you. That was President Joe Biden's predictably terrible response to Israel's war crimes against the Palestinian people. Simply put, Israel has the right to defend itself. End of story. Yeah, uh, I'm wondering what he thinks about whether or not Palestinians have the right to defend themselves. Because they're the ones currently being forcibly removed from their homes in the East Jerusalem city of Sheikh Jarrah. Do they ever have the right to defend themselves? I mean, they can't even speak out against what Israel is doing, let alone defend themselves. But I mean, when they protest, they get brutalized by Israeli forces. They fire tear gas and rubber bullets into mosques. So are they just supposed to be expected to shut up and take it? I mean, I'm sure that if Joe Biden had an intruder come into his home, he'd be perfectly cool with that. Right. And if he screamed at them and told them to get out and they shot him in the head with the BB gun, I'm sure he just think, well, you know what? That intruder is just defending himself. It's just it's outrageous. But if you thought what Joe Biden said was bad, Nancy Pelosi somehow managed to be even more ruthless and racist against Palestinians in a press statement that she released saying, quote, I condemn the escalating and indiscriminate rocket attacks by Hamas against Israel. Israel has the right to defend herself against this assault, which is designed to sow terror and undermine prospects for peace. Every civilian death is a tragedy that we mourn. Hamas's accelerating violence only risks killing more civilians, including innocent Palestinians. The recent inflammatory provocations, including by extremist forces in Jerusalem, have exacerbated the situation and restraint must be shown by all to de escalate the crisis. Let us pray that the situation will be resolved immediately and peacefully. So let's be very clear about what this statement is. This isn't merely a defense of ethnic cleansing. This is a full-throated endorsement of ethnic cleansing. Nancy Pelosi should just be honest and say she believes that Palestinian lives are meaningless. They have no value whatsoever. Therefore, Israel should be allowed to indiscriminately kill Palestinians uh, till their hearts content. Just say it, Nancy. Stop being a coward because that's what you're advocating for. You are supporting war crimes against the Palestinian people. And she's really quick to unequivocally condemn the rocket attacks that Hamas is firing. Uh, any word on the airstrikes, Nancy? Have you heard about the fact that they're killing children? Are you concerned that they're firing tear gas and rubber bullets into mosques while people are praying? Any word on that? Any concern whatsoever, Nancy Pelosi, for them? Well, of course not, because they don't matter to Nancy Pelosi. She's a racist. Completely minimizes and erases the suffering of the Palestinian people and um, just permits Israel to carry out an ethnic cleansing. Shameful. Shameful. This is the Speaker of the House. This is a leader of the Democratic Party who's supposed to be against war crimes and crimes against humanity. But here she is endorsing not only an illegal occupation, but all out ethnic cleansing. Brilliant. And when she says that Israel has the right to defend itself, when Joe Biden says that Israel has the right to defend itself, let's be clear. This is what Israel looks like when it defends itself. So I know that you think you heard women and children screaming and babies crying, but that's not actually what you heard. What you heard was Israel defending itself, ruthlessly bombing densely populated areas. This is what they support. This is what they support. 
and not only support, but enthusiastically endorse whenever they have the opportunity to do so. Now, a young Palestinian man who is living in Sheikh Jarrah, who's facing expulsion, went on CNN and he shared the situation, shared his experience, and he really concisely put things into perspective for a CNN reporter who was asked about violence from Palestinians. Because there's this assumption that, you know, Palestinians, they're just inherently violent. These people are barbarians. So everything that Israel does, Israel is just defending itself. Uh, but watch what he says to a CNN reporter. Do you support the protests, uh, the violent protests that have erupted in solidarity with you and, and, and other families in your position right now? Do you support um, the violent dispossession of me and my family? I'll take our silence as a cue that it's time to cut to a commercial break. So that was Mohammed El Kurd. And he has been on numerous mainstream news shows, surprisingly. It, to even bring him on is pleasantly surprising to share his story. Because usually we exclusively hear just one side. But he talked about how him and his family were facing expulsion. And unfortunately, he was very quickly proven right. And just like that, he was expelled from his home. If he fights back, he dies. If he tries to protest, he gets brutalized. Absolutely no choice whatsoever. Because the occupier has determined that his home belongs to them. So they just take it like that. Nothing he can do. So I want to go back to Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden, two individuals who endorsed the ethnic cleansing that Israel is currently doing. So does Muhammad have the right to defend himself? Because you talked about how Israel has the right to defend itself. Does Muhammad have the right to defend himself? Because currently he doesn't have the right to defend himself. He had zero choice in the matter. I'm sure that if... Canada decided to take over portions of the United States and they decided that they want the area where all of the houses are that Nancy Pelosi lives and they just barged into her mansion and they kicked her out of her home with two $10,000 refrigerators. I'm sure Nancy Pelosi would just be totally cool with that. Well, look, it's unfortunate. I really wanted to stay in this place, but uh, you, know, you know, the occupier said I have to go. So I, I feel compelled to oblige and I don't want to have to put them in a predicament where they're forced to defend themselves against me. I mean, we know that these folks would never ever accept this if it were being done to them. Joe Biden would never allow someone to expel him from his home without a fight. So I ask the question again, at what point do U.S. lawmakers who unconditionally support Israel even acknowledge whether or not Palestinians have the right to defend themselves? They don't acknowledge it because they don't believe that Palestinians have the right to defend themselves. Palestinians to these racists are not actually human beings. They've been dehumanized. And so all they are is an obstacle, obstacle in the way of Israel's total domination. So they don't believe that Palestinians have the right to defend themselves them not saying it as a tacit admission that that is in fact the case. But understand, right now it might be the most politically expedient position somehow to support ethnic cleansing. Having said that though, time will pass and eventually things will change. And history is going to judge racists like Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden accordingly for not only their complicity with the actions of the Israeli government, but their assistance they're aiding and abetting of a genocide, of an apartheid regime. And again, it's not surprising. I don't want you to think that I'm, I'm surprised by the statements we're seeing from lawmakers after taking days to mull over the situation. 
But um, nonetheless, that doesn't make it any less egregious. And certainly it still needs to be condemned. Because if you support ethnic cleansing, I think that you should receive a little bit of pushback, to say the least. Come on, man.